Here I am again wanting to show you the movements on this bone set here. Got some kind of little butterfly on it right there. I don't know who that is. But I have been pronouncing the Latin wrong on this plant. Uh, it is Eupatorium perfoliatum. <clears throat> it's a Michigan native. Um, I've decided I'm going to do shorter videos and just try and concentrate particularly on one plant each time. But as you can see, it's just buzzing with all sorts of activity. Um, this plant does like wetter conditions. Uh, I've seen it growing along shorelines, <clears throat> riverbanks, that type of stuff. That's where it prefers. I have it in a pretty dry area. Um, I've had it for two or three years now and um, this year I've gotten lucky because we've gotten a lot of rain here in Michigan. But I think once they get established you can probably get away with putting them anywhere. Um, the one idea I would give to people if they want to do a rain garden type garden like this one, most of these plants over on this side um, like wetter soils is uh, <clears throat> use your gutters. You put a gutter up here and it goes down into a little pipe here and then we ran it underneath the pathway out to here. Um, it doesn't work exactly like I wanted it to. I was kind of experimenting. I would have done it differently knowing what I know now. Um, but it does flood this area here. The iris seems to get it quite well. Um, some of the great blue lobelia gets it. This turtle head seems to get it. So it does flood this little area here. Um, there are, if I would have known, I probably would have dug this whole area out before planting all these plants and made like a little bowl. So that way when the water came from here, it would have shot out here and flooded the whole area. But so far all these plants seem to be doing well. Um, a lot of them, either it's their first year here or they were moved from a different area and I kind of just made this my rain garden. Um, I plan on doing more in the future with, uh, with using my other gutters and um, I'll do it a little better than I did this one. walking through all the bees right now. They don't seem to really bother you. I mean, I suppose maybe if you put your hand in there they might, but um, I can get pretty close and they don't, they're, they're too busy doing their own thing, so I don't really worry about it too much. So anyways, this is the first video of a set. I'll try and concentrate on a plant and give as much information as I can think of at the time on that plant. So this one here is bone set. Eupatorium perfoliatum. And it is the busy, busiest uh, plant that I have of, of any of them right now.